Hello, this is Steve Malone with Compass FX. I hope you're doing well today. In my previous video, I mentioned how to grab some pips quickly from the open of the session. Oftentimes, traders sit around waiting for the proper setup, but you have to realize that the open of a session, we often get a pretty good move, regardless of which open you trade, whether that be the Australian Open, European Open, London Open, or the New York Open. Even the Tokyo Open, you're going to find some decent movement, and oftentimes that's due to some fundamental or news event that's happening in the marketplace. Now, I got a number of emails from folks. Even one email said, well, Dean, obviously, you'd trade away from the open. You'd go one way or the other. True, but which way do we go was a lot of what the emails I got today was, which way should I trade? So I'm going to break it down for you a little bit more in detail. I'm going down that five-minute chart because I had mentioned on the five-minute chart, you can watch some potential candlestick patterns to suggest which way the market's going to go. Also, using the dots indicator, you can look for a certain levels by which you decide to take the trade. If you don't take the trade right from the open, look for it to break either the buy stop loss level or the sell stop loss level of the dots indicator. So let's take another look at trading away from the open. And I want to let you know too that as we go through some of these charts, you're going to notice how the market has a tendency to come back to the open. And if it can't reach the open, and then trades back away from the open, boom, that's the trade you definitely want to be on. So if we take a look at the Aussie dollar on that five minute chart at the start of the European open, we can see that the market had made a move down going below the buy stop loss level, which can be an entry, and then pushing down to the sell entry level. Now where would you put your stop loss? You would put your stop loss on the other side of the sell stop loss level. So you're Literally, it's a pretty tight stop. Think about this. If you entered your trade right in that neighborhood of about uh, 87, 85, you've got about a 10 pip stop loss, whereas on the flip side, you have a 14 pip potential gain there. Now, it's about a one to one. Now, the beautiful thing is, is as the market progresses and comes back and tests and can't seem to push back towards the open and rolls over, that is your A-OK. -okay. The market's going to continue running. And look what the market did. Market comes right down to that next level. Now, look at this. You had a 10 pip stop loss. We're now, look at the distance here. That's a three to one reward to risk ratio, risking 10 pips here and potentially making 30 pips on the trade. Let's take a look at another one. Now in this case, we have a situation where the market moved away, it traded below the buy stop loss level and did not reach the sell entry level. So in this case, our stop loss is on the other side at about, this about 11, 12 pips, let's call it 12 pips, on the other side of our entry here. So here's our entry, here's our stop loss on the other side. So let's say we have about a 12 pip stop loss. Well, from this level up, that's about a 16 pip trade. Again, with spread, you're looking at about a one to one. Now let me show you something I've seen happen quite a bit. When the market decides which way it wants to go, oftentimes the market will come back and test the open. If the open holds and the market bounces from the open, that's the direction it's going to go. And we can see here the market makes a move this way, can't seem to hold, crosses over, here's that entry, you know, so we're stopped out, minus 12, we enter on that stop out, we come to that level, so now we've covered our stop loss, we're about zero in the trade, and look what the market does. The market comes back and does another bounce. So possible trade right there if you're quick on it. But what I want to point out is this here. The market comes all the way back, tests the open, closes above the open, boom, that's the direction the market's going. Let's take a look at the Euro Pound. Now let me show you something on the Euro Pound. You can see that the market moved down and this emphasizes the market going back and testing the open. If the open holds and the market trades away from the open, that's the direction. That's where you're going. So the market pulls back, holds the open, rolls, bam, you're in the trade. That's it. That's the trade. Now you might have already been in the trade here, but you're not stopped out. The stop out here going up is about an 8 pip stop loss and moving down to the next level, the sell entry level, it's about a 9 pip. So again, one to one. But look how the market came on down, did a little bounce and reached this level. 
Now then, take a look at this. An 8 pip stop loss compared to, let's call it a 24 pip gain. There's your 3 to 1 right there. So, long story short, we're looking for the direction away from the open, looking for a candle type setup. Now, I'm not using any Heikinashi bar candlesticks or range bars. I'm just using simple candlesticks. You can also just use a bar chart. Now let's take a look at what's going on right now in the marketplace. You can see here that the market has pushed down on the Kiwi, uh, the Kiwi dollar. The market's pushed down. Here's our entry. Our stop would be above, and here's our target. Now I've had people write me and ask me what indicator would you use to determine direction. Well, oftentimes I'm just simply looking at the candles themselves. Uh, you can look at a moving average, like a two or three moving average, if that helps you. Uh, you can look at an oscillator, like the CCI, a stochastic. Let me put the stochastic on here. I've got set a 533 stochastic, and you can see it's rolling down, starting to try to cross over there. And what about, uh, let me see here, here's a relative strength index. You can see it's kind of moving down, a little bouncing up and down, but you can use one of those type of oscillators to help you. Also, make note that if you have one of your major pairs making a move right from the open, check other pairs related to that main pair. So in this case, we're looking at the Kiwi dollar. If we go over and look at the Kiwi yen, look what the Kiwi yen has done. The Kiwi yen moved right away from the open, moved right away. Now, this took about 20 minutes or so. Most of these trades did, but from here to our stop loss, would have been about 10 pips. To our sell entry, about 12 pips. Again, about a one to one. Now if the market gets all the way down here, look, there's a three to one reward to risk ratio. Waiting for this to push on down. It'll have to break this low over here and push on down. But no, look what the market did. The market pushed down, hit our entry, the sell entry, which is our target. But if you held in here, now look what the market did. The market bounces back up but it doesn't climb any higher. It doesn't go back to test the open. And again, what we're trying to do is to, we're trying to grab some quick pips from the open of the market, and this is a way to go about doing it. So again, consider at the start of the open, you're going to have a, a look that's going to be something like this. It's going to be straight on. In this case, just made an immediate move. You're going to have a move that's going to go one direction, show a potential turn. Now look at this. Look at this really close. You can see and maybe I have to lay it out here, but take a look at this. Do you see this? This move down, okay, you see that? And then a move back up, okay, from that bottom there. Let me open this up just a little bit more and you can see this here. You see that kind of comes up and then notice how the market comes back down. Okay, now notice that that low is slightly higher than that low and what do we have? We have a double bottom happening and look what the market did. The market pushed all the way up there. So you can look at the exact chart pattern like an M or a W type pattern. In this case we had a W pattern and the market pushed back up, crossed over. Now if you see this pretty clearly and you don't want to hold in there until it goes all the way, then close out of the trade. You saw the double bottom, you saw the market pushing back towards your entry, exit the trade. Okay, And then again look for a situation like this where you see that the market has made a move in a direction, comes back and test, but it can't hold it. It falls off and goes in the direction of the initial move in the marketplace. Okay, So look for those type of setups and trade away from the open in the direction where the market is intending to go. Now again, the market could bounce back and forth, wobble around, Keep an eye on those M's and W patterns as I showed a moment ago and you're going to get a sense of direction. But the beautiful thing is is that if you wait for the break, the buy stop loss level or the sell stop loss level, wait for a break of either one, let that be your entry and let the other one be your stop loss, there's a better chance that you have an opportunity to keep your stop loss really small and the potential gain is a one to one or a potential three to one on your trade. Well, this is Dean Malone with CompassFX. Hope this gives a little bit more clarity about trading away from the open. Y'all make a great day. Get some good trades. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.